Right, guys, what we're going to be looking at today is setting up a herringbone panel. So on this picture, what I've done, I've highlighted what I call the starter triangles. So they're really important to get right. They're actually made out of three cuts, as you can see, and it's not that difficult to mark them out, so we'll go on to that next. Um, I'll just point out now that for the purposes of demonstration, I'm in a college workshop, so what I've used here is blockettes. I can cut them by hand with a saw, and I'm also doing it on a flat surface, make it easier to show. So you literally line your bricks up with a joint and then draw a diagonal line from corner to corner. Now when they're cut, it'll actually give you two sets. So, next door here, there we are. There's two sets already cut. And then we'll go on to placing them accurately and setting them out. Right, just to show you that it works, um, I've placed three of the cuts where they should go. And now I'm going to set the rest out. Just an afterthought on the first bit of that video, um, maybe some of you noticed, but the way I'd have marked out from the top left hand corner down to the bottom right, that would be been okay if you were using a bench cutter and you was going right through the brick and you get a decent cut on both sides. So what I've done, I came home tonight and thought about it, sad as it is, so you could set it up like I've got it here in the diagram. Um, so for the two longer cuts, you're working from the top right hand corner down to the bottom left. Um, the small triangles are going to be the same whatever, and the medium sized cuts, um, they would be okay to cut them as I had it set up before. So I hope that makes it a little bit clearer, not too confusing. So just to show you, I've done that on paper. That be me cut, so just turn it round, and with all the goodwill in the world, it just slides into place. So there you go. Right, I can carry on now. Right, I've set all the small triangles out, and all the other cuts are ready to be put in place. Um, I'll show you the measurements in a minute and how I worked it out. So I put some marks on the bricks, as you can see. Now if we go back to the picture, so the length of the complete triangle would be 305. The distance between the small triangles, the starters, is 225 and I came in from one end to the small triangle 110 mil. that's how I worked it out so let's hope it all fits together right as you can see there's all four starter triangles all set out quite neatly got a square in there um, you can also use a scaffolder's base plate. That's what we use most of the time on site. Didn't have squares with us. So they're all looking pretty neat. I've also put a line through to get all the tops in line. So then we'll go on to the next stage. So I've laid a few more out just to make sure it's all working. As you can see, all the joints are pretty regular. Um, got the square in there, checking it as I went up. I've also put another line up, which you would put up vertically um, to keep the points of those bricks all plumb. So, hope that was informative. Um, sorry it was a dry run, but I think it's a lot easier to demonstrate. Thanks a lot.